folks, in this one we're looking at Watch the Corners by Dinosaur Jr. You are going to need a capo. That's right, a capo on the ninth fret covering the whole guitar. Standard tuning, and we are using these bad boys, the Zvex Double Rock into the jam pedals Red Muck. So it's a boost into a Big Muff type pedal if you don't have those two. So first riff goes like this. And that repeats around three times in fact. So the rhythm slowly is. Okay, so down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And I'm palm muting very lightly with my uh, right hand there, okay? Then the fourth time it goes. So you're going to take the palm muting off and gradually come up in volume. So then you play. Zero, two. Now the um, tab's all relative to the capo, okay? So it's that's zero, that's two, because it's two frets above the capo, okay? So just be aware of that. So, four times around it would be. And then you use your second finger to fret the third fret, and then your third finger tucks in behind on this third fret on the B string, right? Third fret, I say, relative to the capo. It's a G shape, essentially, but you're going to be muting Mr. A string, okay? Fifth string. So you're going to play G, D, E minor, C. And then you go to an A minor. And then that little that little riff there, right? So G twice. It's actually like a D5 with A in the bass this. E minor. C A minor. And you play this. That rhythm, right? And then that rhythm. Pretty straightforward. The second time you play. You just play it for play four notes and leave them ring out. Then you have this. Last one you leave ring out. So that is just an E power chord, then a rest, C, and then a rest. Stay on the C, and then G with this 3 2, right? With that little, that little, that little phrase there. So slowly. One more time. All right, so you play it four times, the fourth time. You leave the G ring out. Now the next part is the last bit, and you're going to play the same strumming pattern that we did earlier, which is this. That, right? Down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. Okay, and you're going to play A minor, C, G, but just with one finger this time. Don't need to bother with this one up here. And then a D, okay? So, that goes. And then after two times round of that, you play 
which is an A minor. Down, down, up, down, down. Rest, and then you go for the third fret, or 12th fret obviously here, and then the rest are open. All right, so I think that's what he's playing there anyway. You can also do this little fill when you come to the D. Do a little sus4 pull off. Just me putting my little finger on the 12th fret there and pulling off. So that would be. Because I think Jay does that live. Something along those lines. So put that in as well if you wish. Now there is also a solo. And for that I would take the cap off. It's roughly in tune. And I would play. So I'd start on the ninth fret. Keep it fairly pentatonic. But if you put in. Put some bits in like that. Because you're just in the major scale there, really. Then noodle around and you will have some fun with that. I guarantee it. And that is it. You're done. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.